What's up everyone, my name is Nakarama and welcome back to Under Hero. So, uh, I had to basically go through everything again because as it seems I completely forgot to uh, save. <laughs> my bad. So, this time we actually want to see if there is a way. Uh, Heroes Road, Cafeteria, Top Floor, Apartments. Oh, it's down below. I went into the theater. And there are safe and portals. Oh my god. Okay, so let's do this actually. First, we're going to save the game. Oh, you're a lot. But yeah, anyway. I am maybe a little bit confused. Uh huh. Okay. Hold it right there, sugar. Booth lady. You know I can't let you go any further without your employee card. Huh? Huh? You don't remember where you left it? Relax, honey, I'm sure you'll find it. Let's see. Have you checked inside your room by any chance? That's where I would keep it. Thanks, lady! Someone should tell me one more time the layer of an evil entity is actually so bad. But anyway, I I said I, I am coming back to this game and... Crap! Actually, let's check the book. Uh, mm, I'm living where? Um, seems like not saying anything. Um, Elizabeth told me to find a quiet place so uh, we could talk. My apartment is closed. I hope I'm still carrying my key. It should be in my items menu. Elizabeth doesn't know what I did uh, to the hero. What I did, I, ne I never mind. Okay, so I need to check the key. It's apartment A. And on which floor? Important item key for uh, to your room. So I suppose one F. Yep, that's mine. There we go. Oh, coins. Your place looks safe enough, I guess. All right. Um. <clears throat> Greetings, my name is Elizabeth. I'm bad at Roman numbers, so I'm not even going to attempt that. And I am a magical hilt. I have chosen you as my companion to free this world of evil. Do you accept my destiny as the chosen hero of legend? Ah? That's it. Uh, that's it. Um, good enough, I guess. I did give you the short speech. The long one is at least 8,000 words longer. Oh boy, please. <laughs> I wanna play, please. <laughs> so what's your name? Are you a girl or... Right. How about this? I'll just call you Kid, cool? Very well, Kid. We have no time to lose if you want to defeat that Stitches guy. He might look goofy, but he is the evil king after all. What? Of course we have to fight him! Didn't you see what he did to his own minion? He's obviously going to get rid of you once you finish that mission of his. Calm down. We can do this. You have me, after all. One thing you must know it, though. When I change bearers, I lose all of my powers. So we need to train and get strong enough to defeat Mr. Stitches. Here's what I propose. We play along with Stitches' mission so he doesn't suspect a thing. We'll fight with all the bosses, and we will become stronger together. Help me defeat him, kid. Fine. And you can take all his coins after we're done with him. Yeah! 
Alright, alright. Now, there's gotta be a way you minions have be uh, moved between worlds, right? I mean, you guys always get there first somehow. Let's get going, kid. To the forest! Wait! One last thing. If you wanna talk about the place we are currently in, just press the LT, uh, left trigger button. Try not to bother me so often. You found your employee card. Perfect. Oh. Buzz stitches you. Uh, okay, why do I actually have a poster of Wanted Hero in my room? Because you could actually... Because he doesn't seem to be like the type of minion that is really brave, obviously. So I don't know. Anyway, let's get going, because we need to get actually some gameplay into, into this game. Let's do this! Let's move out and find out where we go. Whoa, slow down, sweetie. Looks like you got your employee card. You forgot how to use it. No worries. It's super simple. If you wish to save your progress, start by talking to me. You'll have to pay a small fee, of course. Eh? Don't worry, honey. It's a one-time only fee to unlock this location. Then it's forever free. So after paying, just head towards that green box over there and press the X button. And presto! Your progress has been saved. How about we give it a try? Come a little closer and talk to me. It's five coins to unlock the machine. Would you like to pay this fee? Yes. All done, sugar. Go to the green box uh, to uh, go to the green box to my right and save your progress. Ka-ching! Saved. Okay, so now we finally have a saved game. So let's see. Let's move on so we finally get something done. Uh, evil store. <laughs> okay. So where are the portals? World 1, the Moth Forest. Well then. Oh, that looks dark. Hold up, kid. You see that weird artifact over there? Those were put there by ancient beings to aid the Chosen One and yours truly in your quest to defeat evil. The same beings that created me. These er eerie statues can record your pro our progress as soon as we pass them. To avoid losing progress, I recommend using save stations if you plan on switching save files. You got all that, Scarf Boy? I, I mean, kid? Oh. Keep that in mind, kid. Oh, right, because Scarf Boy died. So when am I going to actually have any gameplay? That would be really nice right now. Oh! Oh, whoops. Ah! Wait. I'm... I'm using... I'm using left trigger. Why can't I talk to you? Um... Guys, I'm not dumb. I press use. Okay, then not.
Wait, what? Class is in session, kid. Don't worry, I'll keep it sweet and short. To begin with, down here you'll find your slick battle menu. Where you can do fun things like attacking! That's your sword attack. Fast and reliable. Now then, I uh, when I say go, use your sword attack with the X button. Ready? Go! That's it! Notice how that green bar over there went down when you attack? That's your stamina meter. Oh boy. Attacking requires stamina points. Your sword attack needs 3 points in order to be used. If your stamina goes below 3, you won't be able to move until it recharges. Keep that in mind. You can also hold back uh, you can also hold back hold back your attacks. If you keep the button pressed down, good for timing your attacks. Moving on. It's time for your enemy to attack. But fear not. With careful timing you can evade their attacks. What just appeared is your jump button. Use it to evade medium height attacks. Oh god, this is going to be so much more involved. When the lizard attacks, use your jump to evade its bite with the A button. Ready? Go! Okay. Nice! Whoa, did you see that, kid? Your stamina was replenished when you evaded that attack. That's the most efficient way of recharging your stamina meter. If you're running low on juice, just evade some attacks. Next is your crouch button. Use it to evade high attacks. This time, I want you to pay close attention to the face of your enemy before they attack. And don't forget to evade the attack by holding down the left stick. Ready? Go! Did you see that? Your enemy pulled out their tongue right before attacking. This is called a hint. Pay close attention from now on to all the different hints enemies show before an attack. And beware, they may have more than one attack too. Okay, lesson one is over. Time uh, for a test kit. Defeat that monster! Ouch. Um... Hello? I, I... I can't jump. Oh... Nope. Ow! I'm not good when it comes to timing. A new potion! Ooh, I have a glide! That's cool. To walk, just move the... Hold on, I... Mm. Mm, no. Time for more training kit. This just occurred to me, but... You can totally talk to your enemies. Oh my god, is this Undertale? <laughs> You're all minions after all, but you can only talk before attacking your enemies. Learning new info is important, so make a habit of talking before attacking. Now, talk to that enemy by pressing the right... The right D-pad, okay. Um... I'm pressing the right D-pad. Lovely weather! 
we're having, huh? A little bit chilly, though. Uh, good to know, I guess. Next up is your HP up there. If that number reaches zero, it's game over, obviously. So, to avoid your early demise, you can use this. Oh, potions. That's your potions button. You can use it to replenish 50% of your HP. To use it, just press the left D-pad. So, uh... Your face is a mess, yo. Y you said what? Now, kid, use a potion! That was a waste of a potion. There you go, feeling better. Uh, you can use potions outside of battles too. Press the V, uh, the, uh, the Y button. Not the V button, it actually, yeah, sorry, it looks like a V button. <laughs> um, press the y, y button three times, once to show the HUD and two more to, uh, to confirm. Now it's time for uh, desperate me measures. If you feel like you need to flee a battle, well, you could bribe your foes. The only way to stop your enemies from attacking you is with money. Oh my god. Your coins appear in the down right corner of the screen there. Make sure you have enough. To pay coins to your enemies, just press the back button. Let's try it. Pay up. Why is it not doing it? If you don't um, want to end up uh, broke, you better fight your battles like I told you. Bribing grunts less experience after all. After you pay them enough coins, they will leave you alone and you won't be able to fight them again. That's it for n and that's it for now. Okay, back to battle. Nope. Oh, okay, so you can't do that. I I goofed. I didn't have enough stamina. <laughs> okay, that worked. You found a potion. Great. Uh, you need a silver key for this lock gate. A uh, lock gate, kid. It's gonna be around here somewhere. Yeah, this this is actually quite charming, this game, but it's not exactly my type of game. Because I don't really like um, games that uh, require you too much precision. Encounter! Boom! No! Funk! Funk! No! Don't bite me! No! Don't bite me! I hit you! Ah, okay, it's always twice. Nicey, okay. Victory! You can't carry any more potions. Whoop, 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 whoop. Another encounter! 
Take that! You're not going to take the better of me. I am going to take the better of you. Ooh, just barely. That was close. Nope. Take this. Jumping! Okay, let's see what is down here. Uh oh. HP full. Moth Forest, the big tree. Yeah, most definitely, that is a big tree. Um. Seriously? <sighs> you need a key, kid. And not just any key, the shiny and important looking kind of key. Well... I suppose now ev at least everyone knows what this game is like? And if you basically like this type of game, then glad for you, cause this is then definitely a game for you. But sadly not so much for me. So... Because I'm sadly out of time for this episode, so all I can say for now is, sadly, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, then leave back a like and a comment, a like and a comment and tell me what you thought about it. Sorry. <sighs> but definitely, I'm, I'm going to put the link to, and down in the description again towards this game. And then you can basically try this game for yourself. But uh, remember, this is just a demo. So this doesn't mean that this game is going to be completed. But at least now you also know what the combat is like, you know what it looks like, and you definitely know what you will be basically expecting while playing this game. So for now, as per usual, I hope I see all of you guys in the next video. Till then, see ya!